Welcome back to the Orange Bowl. You're watching Big East football from ESPN Plus, where the number one ranked Miami Hurricanes are getting ready to take on the Trojans of Troy State. Troy State won the toss and deferred until the second half. Miami has chosen to receive, and they'll be moving from left to right. Andre Johnson and Frank Gore will be the deep receivers for Miami. Today's weather, mostly sunny. It's 84 degrees, 76% humidity, and winds out of the south at six miles per hour. Andre Johnson did a very good job against the University of Pittsburgh in Miami's last outing, returning kickoffs. He was one of the special teams MVPs for the Hurricanes in that game. We're just about ready to go from the Orange Bowl. The lefty Boatler kicks it off high and short. And this is Andre Johnson and Gore both fumbling and stumbling, and Johnson falls down at the 22-yard line. They get ready for Florida State next week. But they said they're very focused on Troy State. They saw that Troy State played Nebraska tough, at least for a half. On first down, this is Clinton Portis. Behind a Davenport block, he gets across the 25-yard line. It's the starting lineup for the Hurricanes. Davenport and Portis in the backfield. Andre Johnson, Daryl Jones, the wide receivers. Jeremy Shockey is the tight end. The offensive line, outstanding. They have yet to allow a sack this season. McKinney, Haji Rasuli, Romberg, Bibla, and Gonzalez. We'll check out the Troy State defense after this play. That's Jones in motion toward his quarterback. And again, Portis with the handoff. Gets only a yard or two. Here's the defensive line for Troy State. Gamboa, Deverne Williams, Vernon Marable, and O.C. Human Yura. Linebackers, Yamini in the middle with Sears and their best defensive player so far this year, McLean on the outside. Jackson, White, Harper, and Reed in the secondary. From the 27-yard line, it's third and four for the Hurricanes. Dorsey will operate out of the shotgun. Blitz on for McLean. It's picked up. Dorsey moving out of the pocket. Dorsey's going to have to run for it. He'll have a first down and goes out at the Miami 35-yard line. Standard pro set in the eye for Miami. Play fake to Davenport. Dorsey's pass is caught at midfield and into Troy State territory. First and 10 from the Troy State 47. Pitch to Portis. Reverse to Darrell Jones. Got a block from Dorsey trying to get around Derek Jackson and does. But the safety, Ronald Harper, came from the Troy State 46. Jeremy Shockey, the tight end, resets to the right side of the formation. Dorsey, three-step drop. Quick throw, complete to Shockey. Shockey down to the 37-yard line. He's that extra weapon. The wide receivers and the running backs are tough enough. When you have a tight end like that, it makes it very difficult to defend. Here's Clint Porta, skipped away from the tackle in the backfield and reaches the 31-yard line. Davenport, the fullback, in motion. Chase is on for Dorsey. He gets the ball out complete to Portis, but he'll go down for a loss of a couple of yards. To get in on that tackle. Miami converting at 52% on third downs this season. This is a third and seven. Dorsey out of the shotgun. Protection is good. Over the middle, complete to Shockey, but McLean dumped him right away. On the Hurricanes, one for one this year on fourth down conversion attempts. Dorsey will throw for the first down. Gets it to Darrell Jones, but he might be shy of the first down. Outstanding play by Azar Yamini, the middle linebacker. They're in the spread offense. Demontre Carter, the only running back behind Brock Nutter. Going to throw it on first down. Completes it to the outside and a big hit as Philip Buchanan rocks Demontre Carter. Carter in the backfield. Cox did not start at fullback. They went with four wide receivers. Skipper, Samples, and Phillips are the backs and receivers. The front line of Hall, Jordan, Garman, Currington, and Felton. The spread offense. Nutter under center, gives it to Demontre Carter. Carter, good run, has a first down. William Joseph had to finally chase him down. Here's the Hurricane defensive line, Andrew Williams. Matt Walters, William Joseph, and Jerome McDougal. The linebackers, if they go in their standard set, is Clark, Vilma, and Campbell. And the defensive backs, Rump, Reed, Lewis, and Buchanan, although Al Marshall and Marquise Fitzgerald are in there a lot. Felton in motion. Give to Carter. Carter to midfield. Carter right down the middle. James Lewis has to tackle him at the 35-yard line. The Baron Black now in at running back. It's Black with the football, and he'll go down for a loss. Jerome McDougal wrapped him up. Two backs in the backfield. DeWitt Pedersen now in along with Demontre Carter. Nutter chased out of the pocket. Throwing down the middle. Caught by Samples at the 20-yard line. Nutter with a blitz coming. Dumps it off and dropped by Carter at the 17-yard line. Ball just inside the Miami 20. Nutter on a rollout. Throws to the sideline. Caught by Tommy Benesee at the 15-yard line. Come in. 20. 
Nutter against a four-man rush. Pressure from Andrew Williams forces the incomplete pass. The third and 20 for Troy State. Eric Felton is the man in motion. Miami coming on a blitz to give to Carter, and he'll go down. Andrew Williams wrapped him up. He'll bring on the place kicker, Drew Boatler. He'll attempt from 38 yards away, making a 48-yard try with the 10 of the end zone. Boatler's kick, low, hits the upright and bounces away, no good. So Troy State fails to get on the scoreboard. Did not look like Drew Boatler got all of that football, and it was just off the mark. Portis and Davenport, the running backs behind Dorsey and Ken will put it up on first down. Fires complete to Daryl Jones, to the 50. Makes a cut and is brought down from behind at the Troy State 40-yard line. Out of the eye on first down, three wide receiver package in for Miami. Fake to Portis. Dorsey firing right open, Jeremy Shockey inside the 20. Still going in the safety, Ronald Harper finally had to make the... Dorsey checking at the line of scrimmage as tight end Robert Williams resets. Miami goes with a double tight end. Throw for the end zone. Kevin Beard too far out of his reach. Into the, set down toward the bottom of the screen. Dorsey looking for Andre Johnson. Has him touchdown Hurricanes. David Filial was in coverage, but one-on-one, -on -one, Andre Johnson beat him on the post route. Andre Johnson, a big target at 6'3", 212, the sophomore. He gets his third touchdown of the season just on a quick slant. Little play action in the backfield and a huge target in the end zone. An extra point conversions this year out of the Freddie Capshaw hold. Puts it up and good. And with five minutes and 11 seconds left to go in the first quarter, Miami jumps out to a 7-0 lead over Troy State as Ken Dorsey hits Andre Johnson on a 10-yard touchdown pass, a 68-yard drive for the Canes. They lead it 7-0. You're watching Big East football from ESPN+. And the junior from Iowa, Todd Sievers, kicks it away. Sends Demontre Carter eight yards deep into the end zone, and he will take the touchback. With the give to Black. He gets a yard or two, no, not much more. Again, Miami with the dime defensive package. Six defensive backs in the game. Nutter firing, caught by Demontre Carter. He'll have a first down at the 31-yard line. He's on a first and 10. Four wide receivers in for the Trojans. Eric Felton in motion. Give this to Carter, and he'll go down for a loss of a yard. Nutter with a blitz coming from Vilma, tries to throw it out to Carter, who makes the catch up at the 33-yard line. Marquise Fitzgerald making the tackle. There's a third and seven play from the 34. Nutter on a rollout. He throws, and that ball is caught by Hayward Skipper up at the 45-yard line. They bring a tight end into the game for the first time today. Play fake on a rollout. Nutter fires and hits his tight end. That's Cedric Phillips. Nutter out of the shotgun. Blitz coming. Throwing deep down the sideline. Mike Rump working against Chris Day. Incomplete out of bounds. Flag down. Probably six to seven yards out of bounds. Was uncatchable. Nutter out of the shotgun. Four-man rush for the Hurricanes. Nutter throws, and the ball is juggled and caught again by his tight end, Cedric Phillips. And he'll have a first down at the Miami 23-yard line. Marquise Fitzgerald didn't actually tip that ball into the hands of Phillips. On a first and 10 from the 24, Nutter, three-step drop, throwing deep, caught by Hayward Skipper down at the two-yard line. Now Troy State going with three in the backfield. Nutter keeps it and gets virtually nothing. That's Black in motion. Nutter on a rollout, looking to throw back the other way. He's got a man, and it's complete for a touchdown to LeBaron Black. Well, Baron Black with the touchdown catch, his seventh reception of the year, his second touchdown reception, and it's now a 7-6 game. Well, terrific deception that time by the Troy State offense. Hold. Butler gets it away, and it is good, and we have come to the end of the first quarter. Troy State puts together an 11-play, 80-yard drive. They take up the final five minutes and 11 seconds of the first quarter, and after one period, they are tied with the Hurricanes by a score of seven to seven. A touchdown pass from Brock Nutter to LeBaron Black, and after one quarter, we're tied at the Orange Bowl. Miami seven, Troy State seven. You're watching Big East football from ESPN Plus. It's giving Miami a little bit of a problem. Boatler to kick it off, Gore and Johnson are deep for the Hurricanes. This will be the freshman Frank Gore from the seven. Gore to the 30, 25, 26 yard line. For the Hurricanes from their 26. That's Portis with the football. Portis to the outside, and he'll go down at the 31-yard line, second and four for the Hurricanes. 
again. It's Portis with the football behind a Jared Payton block, and Portis will get the first down. The Payton remains in as the fullback. On first and ten, a fake to Portis. Dorsey for Jason Gathers makes a great catch at the 43-yard line. Tremendous catch by Jason Gathers. Damian, now they're calling it incomplete. Second and ten for the Hurricanes. Dorsey, five-step drop, under pressure. Has to unload for Clinton Portis, who was well covered. Four-man rush for Troy State. Dorsey with time, throws complete at midfield to Daryl Jones, and he'll have a first down. Pull the gain of 12 on the completion to Daryl Jones. Clinton Portis in motion for the Canes. There's a pitch to Jared Payton. Payton cuts inside at midfield, picks up only a yard or two. Dorsey today, nine out of 12. Dorsey will throw again. Has a man wide open. That's Kevin Beard at the 33-yard line. He gets down to the 31. Two catches for 36 yards for young Kevin Beard in the Miami offense today. On a first and 10 for the 32. That's Portis, and he'll go down for a loss. Number 96, Deverne William. Dorsey checking off at the line. Pump fake. He's going to go deep. Looking for Ethnic Sands, who had the ball momentarily but could not hang on. Third and almost 14 for Miami. They have to reach the Troy State 22. Three wide receivers in the formation. Dorsey out of the shotgun. Blitz coming for Troy State. Dorsey has to run out of the pocket. Dorsey throws and misses Daryl Jones down at the 25-yard line. Todd Seaver's on to try a field goal from 53 yards away. Chris Harvey will snap. Freddie Capshaw puts it down. He's got the distance, but he's going to miss it wide left. Todd Seavers had plenty of leg, but missed it to the left. He brought under the quarterback. It's been very effective so far. And he got the Hurricanes to jump into the neutral zone. Prior to the snap, offsides on the defensive team. Five-yard penalty, previous spot. Well, the five-yard penalty will move it. On a first and five, LeBaron Black is the running back alongside Nutter. Give this to LeBaron Black. He's got a hole, stumbles, gets across the 45 to the 50-yard line. First and 10 from the Hurricane 49. Nutter, under pressure, throws a screen pass, complete to Skipper. Hayward Skipper, finally dragged down by Matt Walters, but he picked up 12 yards and another first down. Give this to LeBaron Black, and William Joseph says, not this time, that's a loss of two. Four wideouts in the formation for Troy State. Four-man rush for Miami. Nutter throws, and the catch is made by Skipper as Mike Rump fell down. James Lewis has to make the tackle. On the option, Nutter pitches to Carter. Carter across the 20 and pushed out of bounds by James Lewis. Flagged down on the offense. Not Howard enough Clark men is the on the line of scrimmage on the offensive team. Five-yard penalty. Previous spot. The legal formation will cost. Down. Nutter trying to set up a screen. He's still on his feet, and finally he goes down. Santonio Thomas on top. Nutter out of the shotgun. Quick step and throw complete. Two backs alongside Nutter in the shotgun. Four-man rush for Miami. Nutter under pressure. Chased by Santonio Thomas. He puts it up for grabs, and it still was nearly caught. A 40-yard try. And a flag down as Troy State broke the huddle with 12 players. They had an extra man on the field. It appeared Trent Garman. Team, he really can't hide from anybody. Here's the kick from Boatler, and it is going to be no good. Hits the crossbar. Well, he's banged one off the right upright, and now he hits the crossbar. From 45 yards away, tied at seven. First and 10 from the 34-yard line, rather the 29-yard line of Miami. On first down, Dorsey with play action. Steps up and hits Darrell Jones at the 45-yard line for a pickup of 16. Miami playing a lot of nickel and dime anyway, but I would assume Jarrell Weaver would take uh, Clark's place at the weak side linebacker. On a first down, here's Willis McGay. He hit in the backfield, manages to squeeze about a half a yard. Yuma Yura out of Auburn, Alabama on a second and nine. Dorsey with good protection, throwing off the hands of his receiver and then dropped by Ronald Harper. Three wide receivers in on this third and long. Dorsey looking for Andre Johnson, has him inside the 35-yard line. About 12 of 17 for 170 with one touchdown. Gain was 23 on the completion to Andre Johnson on a first down. McGahee with the football. Got a good block from Payton, but he has hit hard at the 30-yard line. Reed make the first contact, signaling his wide receivers. Give this to McGahee, he's got a hole. McGahee behind a good Payton block, puts his head down and makes the contact at the 20-yard line again. 
and the offenses for both teams have been effective, but only one touchdown on the board for each side. A couple of missed field goals for Troy State, one for Miami. McGahee again, trying to get to the outside. Cut down by Waldrop as he reached the 16-yard line, and the fullback right now is Kyle Copia, the redshirt freshman. Dorsey, throw into the corner, caught by Johnson. Did he come down inbounds? No, he did not. Couldn't. Ethnic Sands is split out to the bottom of the screen, and he's in motion, making it a trip's right. Quick drop, throw to Sands off his fingertips. It was, a, was it a lateral? Now saw, they'll call it incomplete. Todd Seavers with a 34-yard field goal try. Capshaw puts it down. Seavers gets it away, and it is good. And with four minutes and 25 seconds left to go in the second quarter, Miami finally has regained the lead over this very scrappy Troy State team. 425 left to go in the second. Miami leads it by a score of 10 to 7 at the Orange Bowl. You're watching Big East football from ESPN Plus. You would look for Seavers to knock this into the end zone with that win coming out of the East. Seavers hits it high and long, driving Carter back seven, eight yards deep, and he again will take a touchback. Another on the give to Demontre Carter. He picked up only a yard or two. Matched up one-on-one -on -one with Day right now. Fake to Carter. Another on the rollout. Finds LeBaron Black. He's knocked down by Ed Reed, but not before Black. Another on a give to Carter. Carter will go nowhere. Lost the football, but Troy State's going to get it back. After his All-American senior year. Nutter trying to set up a screen. Fumble, loose football. Picked up by Jerome McDougal. He fumbled it. Nutter got it back. And it looks like Brock Nutter got it back. Can you believe that? This offense of Troy State. And a flag down. A pen Prior has to, to the set. snap. False start. Procedure. Five-yard penalty. Replay. And that'll be another five-yard. Nutter on the draw play, as you called it, John. Demontre Carter. And Carter will get up to the 15-yard line. John Vilma and Edward Reed making the play. He's forced the bad field position. Snap is good. Shots with time. Gets it away. Low kick. Hits at the 45-yard line. And will be downed near midfield. I mean, with three wide receivers in the formation. Portis the only back alongside Dorsey. On the draw to Portis. Portis at midfield. Cutting back, and he'll go down. No game. Dorsey again out of the shotgun. Dorsey throws, caught and dropped by Andre Johnson at the 40-yard line. Dorsey out of the shotgun. Four-man rush for Troy State. Dorsey fires, caught by Johnson this time at the 35-yard line. Corey Sears and Ronald Harper. From the 36, Brett Romberg with the shotgun snap to Dorsey. Blitz coming. Dorsey to the outside and incomplete. Fans wanted a flag on Derek Jackson. Dorsey out of the shotgun on a second and 10. Troy State backs out of the blitz, and four. Dorsey to the sideline. Jeremy Shockey did not make the catch inbounds. Third and ten. The updated numbers on Dorsey. Blitz coming. Dorsey fires complete. Andre Johnson to the 22-yard line. That'll be a Miami first down. They came out and ran a little bit of spread offense of their own. On a first down. Dorsey, plenty of time. Wide Going open. Going for the far corner. Kevin Beard, touchdown Miami. Kevin Beard left all alone. That is his first collegiate touchdown. It comes with 45 seconds left to go here in the second quarter and boosts Miami's lead to 16 to 7, a much needed confidence booster. Touchdown. Seavers on to attempt the conversion. It is up and good. 45 seconds remaining in the first half, and Miami has now up their lead to 10. It's 17 to 7. You definitely want to keep Troy State off the scoreboard. They do get the ball to start the second half. Seavers hits this kick low, takes a bounce, and Carter picks it up at the four. And Carter will go down as a flag flies at the 15-yard line. And I would say most likely a block in the back, or Penn Wagers indicates a hole. Chris Cox and LeBaron Black behind Nutter in the eye formation. They're just going to give it to Black, and he is hit at the line of scrimmage. Chris Campbell there to make the tackle. Oh, and we have reached halftime here at the Orange Bowl. John, kind of a... Strange performance by Miami. Most people would expect them to be blowing out Troy State at this point, but so far just a 10-point game. Well, give credit to Troy State. It's been a lackluster performance offensively for Miami, but they've done a nice job throwing the football, and Ken Dorsey's had a big first half. So we have reached halftime. It's Miami 17, Troy State 7. Coming up after these messages, stay tuned for the Discover Card halftime report for Miami. And we're underway here in the third quarter. Low line drive kick. This will bounce into the end zone past Day and out of the back of the end zone for the touchback. Nutter starts out of the shotgun. Black and Carter alongside. Fake to Black. Nutter 
Throwing, caught by the tight end, and then dropped by Phillips as the big hit from, from Ed Reed. Take a look at Penn Wagers. Three. Like illegal downfield Broke against up. Troy State. Carter, the running back, alongside Nutter. Five in the pattern. Nutter under some pressure. Steps up, throws. Is it picked off on the deflection? Yes, Ed Reed has it. Ed Reed's going to take it to the house for a Miami touchdown. Second defensive score of the year for Miami. A 25-yard interception return by Edward Reed. That is his second INT of the season, number 14 of his career. You talked about the All-American hit. How about this catch via their defensive unit? Capshaw with the hold. Seaver's conversion is good. 14-40 left to go third quarter, and Miami now leads it by a score of 24-7. Hank Keynes lead it 24-7 as we take another look at the deflection and the Ed Reed pick as Miami gets on the board early in the third. You're watching Big East Football from ESPN+. Plus. Receiver should have no problem putting this football in the end zone. Line drive kick. Carter way back. We'll watch it roll out of the end zone. Montre Carter alongside Brock Nutter, the quarterback in the I formation. There's the give to Carter. Finds a little bit of a crease. Coughed up the football, but again, Troy State falls on it. Exactly right, John. Three fumbles by Troy State. They've gotten them all back. This time it's LeBaron Black. He runs into Matt Walters, manages to squeeze out a yard. Get four wide receivers in the formation for the Trojans. Nutter's pass deflected by McDougal and falls incomplete. Good snap and they almost got there. Shots goes down, flag goes down. Punt out of bounds at the Miami 45. Running into the kicker on the defensive team. Five yard penalty. It's enough for a first down. From the 30, Carter ducks up inside, picks up about three yards. Nutter on a slight roll out to the left. Pressured by Williams. He got the throw away and short hops his wide receiver. Nutter inside handoff to Carter. Carter is going to get the first down at the 40-yard line. Edward Reed trying to lasso him down. Finally gets him down at the 45. Out of the eye formation. The Baron Black stuck at the line of scrimmage. No game. Jonathan Vilma. Nutter. Throwing complete at the 50-yard line. Ball pops loose. Marquise Fitzgerald tries it. Now they're going to call it incomplete. Nutter against a four-man rush. Has plenty of time. Now pressure coming late. Sack by Marquise Fitzgerald. His second sack of the year. The nickelback coming on the pressure. And we have whistles before the snap is made. Prior to the snap, delay of game on the offense. Five That's exactly what happened, Frank. You see. Touchdown. Shots kick into the wind, not very far. Hits at the 41-yard line and bounces backwards, touched at the 43 of Miami. And Jared Payton in at fullback, Dorsey with play action on a first down, down the middle, caught by Shockey, 33-yard line. Payton and Portis in the eye behind Dorsey. Dorsey pump fakes, looks back the other way and throws incomplete, looking for Johnson on the staff. Dorsey with five in the pattern. Finds a wide open Clinton Portis at the 30. To the 20. And cut down at the 15 yard line. Rayshon Reed. Downfield. First and 10 for the 12. Robert Williams, the second tight end in motion. There's to get the Payton, the fullback. Jared Payton with a stiff arm. Another one. Tight ropes it down the sideline. And let's see where he stepped out. Miami's run four plays in the second half. They have 48 yards. Dorsey on the fade. Knocked away. Intended for Andre Johnson. Flagged down. They like Andre Johnson in that corner of the end zone. Give to Peyton, Jared Peyton with a touchdown for the Miami Hurricanes. The son of the late, great, legendary Walter Peyton scores his second touchdown of the year. And Miami has stretched their lead to 30 to seven. A Little bit of a new wrinkle from Miami. You saw the tight end and running back to the left side. Jeremy Shockey and Clinton Portis, seven Canes. Seavers on for the conversion attempt and it is good. Nine minutes and 13 seconds to go in the third quarter. It's now Miami 31. Troy State 7, a five-play, 56-yard drive for the Canes. We'll take a timeout. You're watching Big East football from ESPN. Getting that interception by Edward Reed, and then Ken Dorsey taking him down, and Peyton sticking it in from the two-yard line. There's Seavers kickoff. Demontre Carter, seven yards deep, and he's going to try it. Big mistake. Jarrell Weaver knocked him down at the four-yard line. Now a flag down in the end zone from our referee, Penn Wagers, and he's kind of now that'll be half the distance, put it back on the two-yard line. Give to the fullback, Cox, he stacked up right at the goal line. 
second and 11. Carter, and again, William Joseph stops him for no gain. So it's third and 13. Nutter gives to Carter. Carter got to the five yard line. And now we have whistles from the back judge and the play clock ran out. That's the second time that has happened in punt formation. Two yards less to work with. He got it away and a pretty good kick. Daryl Jones had it at Troy State 44. Gets one block, heads back the other He's way. He's got a wall. And he steps out of bounds at the 43 yard line. Second quarter. First and 10 from the 43. This is Kyle Kobe of the fullback with a rare carry. Picked up a yard. On second down. Pitch to McGahee. And that play's going nowhere. It'll be a loss of a yard. On third and 11. Dorsey. Going for the sideline, Ethnic Sands, the catch at the 25. Ethnic Sands inside the 10, finally run out of bounds by Freeman Whites. Okay. Looking for his third 300-yard game of the year on first down from the seven. This is McGahee. McGahee following Brent Romberg and his fullback, Kobe, and scores the touchdown from seven yards away. You called it, following Brett Romberg and his fullback Kobe out front. Miami stretching out Troy State, really Troy State looking a little bit tired and worn on defense right now. Miami has blown it open. Seavers out of the Freddie Capshaw hold and the Chris Harvey snap puts it up and through. And with five minutes and 27 seconds left to go in this third quarter, it is all of a sudden a 38 to seven Miami lead. Miami with 93 total yards offense in the second half, working on a shorter field and 21 points. Troy State has 15 yards and no points. Again, a deep kickoff actually hits the crossbar and goes through it. After their play, personal foul against Miami, 15 yard penalty from the 20 yard line, automatic first down. From the 35 on an option, pitch out to Carter. Carter will pick up five or six yards this season. So he's a quality back on second and five. Nutter steps up, throws in and out of the hands of his wide receiver. Nutter out of the shotgun on the third down play. Quick step, drop, throw complete to Hayward Skipper, but Nutter sneaking, not sure he got it. Let's see where the linesman Marks it, he's got it marked at the 45. Nutter stuck the football out. 3.53 left to go third quarter. Nutter out of the shotgun with a roll to the left side. Now coming back the other way. Throws and in and out of the hands of his wide receiver beside Nutter in the, eye, in the uh, shotgun formation. And a fake shovel pass and John Square takes down Brock Nutter for a big loss of nine. Third and 18 for Troy State. Nutter with a blitz on from Fitzgerald. Nutter steps up and throws long. And big collision, and penalty flags come flying in. Ran into the wide receiver. Pass interference against the defensive team. 15-yard penalty, previous spot, automatic, first down. High in the backfield behind Nutter. Option, pitch to Carter. Carter chased by John Square, who makes the tackle, but it's a gain of eight. Kevin, it's second and three. Nutter on an option right. Again, the pitch to Carter. Carter cannot turn the corner. James Lewis made the play. It's the lone wide receiver to the right of the formation, bottom of your screen. Nutter gives to LeBaron Black, and he is buried. And shots, shanks. This ball will be hitting inside the Miami 25 and out about the 24-yard line. New quarterback for the Canes, it's Derek Crudup. Starting to drive at the 24-yard line to get to Frank Gore. And Frank Gore, the true freshman out of Coral Gables, gets it up, that'll make it a first down. Put up the play action. And now he's going to pull it down and still looking to throw. Fires downfield for Jason Gathers, but overthrew him. Remaining here in the third quarter, second and ten. Frank Gore with the football. Gore to the 40, to the 42-yard line. We have reached the end of three periods at the Orange Bowl, and it is Miami 38, Troy State 7, a big third quarter for the Hurricanes. You're watching Big East Football from ESPN+. Plus. But uh, Miami in control. As we start the fourth, this is a third and four play. Crudup under pressure. And Crudup gets away. Derek Crudup looking for a target. He's got Robert Williams, but he couldn't get the ball there at the 20 games. Hayward Skipper back to receive for Troy State. Freddie's kick into the wind is a good one. High. Skipper bobbled it, lost it. And it looks like the Canes have it, but a flag down. They might have violated the two yard halo. Big catching interference against the kicking team. Five-yard penalty from the spot where the man entered. Automatic, first down. Be done, Hansel Bearden, a redshirt freshman from Cairo, Georgia, 
now running the show for Troy State. He's got an eye in the backfield. And then the give to his tailback, Betterson, and he was met by Marquise Fitzgerald. Bearden out of the shotgun. Four-man rush for Miami. Bearden completes it to Betterson. He's bumped out of bounds by Philip Buchanan after a pickup of about three or four. Bearden out of the shotgun on the rollout. He throws, deflected by Mike Rump and nearly intercepted by Mike Rump. And whistle stop this play as Shots kicks it anyway, as he should do. Prior to the snap, illegal substitution on the defensive team, five-yard penalty. Division one this year. Good snap, Shots with a low end-over-end -end kick. Jones trying to track it down. He's just going to let it roll, and it will go dead inside the Miami five-yard line. Down at the three. It's Derek Crude up the quarterback. He's got Jared Payton and Willis McGahee behind him. This is Payton with the football. Got only a yard, number 45. Give him a gain of two on first down for Jared Payton. This is a second and eight play. And this is Willis McGahee with the football. And McGahee gets out close to the 10-yard line. His pro problem or question mark has always been stamina. On third down, McGahee. McGahee with a good burst, and he'll pick up a first down across the 20 to the 23-yard line. For Willis McGahee, first and 10 Hurricanes at their own 22. Again, McGahee with the football behind a Peyton block. He'll pick up two or three yards. On second and seven. Crudup firing complete to Jason Gathers with a leaping catch at the 34-yard line. Got a tremendous body, a great build for a wide receiver, about 6'5", 215. Crudup with a first down throw, and again it's complete. This time it is Ethnic Sands out to the 46-yard line. Just, he's got the experience and the, the ability to read the game as well as any quarterback in the country. On first down, McGahee to the 50-yard line, tripped up, or he might have gone the distance. Second and six at midfield for Miami. Give to McGahee, and this time he's buried for a loss of a yard. Number 72, O.C. Humaniora. This young combination, Kellen Winslow into the game at tight end. Put up straight drop back. Down the middle, and you mentioned it. Kellen Winslow, but hit. So that's a valuable experience gained, and you don't want to gain too many of those experiences. Skipper signals fair catch and makes it at the eight yard line. On Betterson with the football has a crease. The 20. And he'll get close to the 25 yard line, carrying a whole pile of defenders on. Again, Betterson. Mel Weaver takes him down at the 31-yard line. He led the charge through the air. Again, Betterson gets around to the outside, and Jamel Weaver again has to make the tackle for Troy State. There's a give to the fullback, Cox. He runs into Jamel Weaver and John Square, picked up four yards. Cox and Betterson in the eye. Daniel O'Brien in motion for the Trojans. Option play, pitch to Betterson. Flag down as Betterson gets across the 45. Ball Illegal control. Shift. On the offensive team, five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay the down. Five receivers spread out. Bearden out of the shotgun. Taken off on a quarterback run. Chased by Jermel Weaver, and he chases him out of bounds at the 40. Give this to Betterson. He has a hole and into Miami territory. Finally taken down by Sean Taylor at the word to Whit Betterson. Option, pitch to Betterson. Forced out by Antrell Roll. The eye in front of LeBaron Black. That's a give to Wells, and he'll pick up a couple of yards, maybe just short of the first down. Sneak by Bearden. It looks like he has the first down. First down from the Miami 32. This is LeBaron Black. And he'll pick up four or five yards. On a second down, Bearden, straight drop back. Blitz coming, and he's down for a sack. James Scott. That's delay of game again, Frank, it looks like. Delay of game, offense, five-yard penalty. But sometimes you lose track. Three-man rush. Bearden trying to set up a screen for Skipper. Too high for him and off his fingertips. And he split out. Shotgun snap. Pressure on Bearden. Chased by Jerome McDougal. Bearden gets it away, and it is out of bounds. Caught by Hayward Skipper, but he was well out of bounds. First and 10 from the Miami 40. Derek Crudup, straight drop back. And throwing incomplete, Crudup. Frank Gore with the football. And he picked up two yards. On third and eight. Give to Frank Gore on a draw. 
Gore with a good burst, flagged down, and Gore got to the 50-yard line. Would have been close to a first down. Holding on the offensive team, 10-yard penalty, previous spot, replay, third. Third and 18. Gruda dumps it over the middle to Cobia. They get to the 40-yard line and no more. A minute 15 to go. Caps off. Nice kick into the wind. Skipper at his 10. Could not get away from Jared Payton, who made the initial contact. Devin Wells and Betterson in the eyes. Betterson with the football. Bursting through. Betterson up across the 25 to the 28-yard line. Here, give to Betterson. And again, he's got a lot of space up to the 44-yard line. And Bearden again gives to Betterson. And again, he bursts through. And finally, Sean Taylor made the tackle, fumble, loose football. And they're going to call him down. From the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida, the Miami Hurricanes beat Troy State. An easy 38-7 victory. Maybe not as big a margin as most people around the country expected, but Larry Coker moves to 4-0 as a head coach. Larry Coker, an excellent job, 4-0 in his Miami Hurricane teams. You take a look at Ken Dorsey, 299 yards passing. They did what they wanted to do offensively through the air, maybe not uh, on the ground or a good mix like they usually have, but defense set the tone in this second half. Miami wins it 38-7 over Troy State. We'll be right back. You're watching Big East football from ESPN+. Plus.